All right, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a right angle. And, uh, you know, the nice thing about this versus parallel lines, parallel lines, we had to think back to algebra and think about, okay, they had the same slope, so therefore they have the same angle um, moving in whatever direction. With perpendicular lines, they're already defined in terms of the angle, all right? And so this plays kind of into our geometry hands uh, where we just have to measure angles again, all right? With parallel lines, we're measuring to see if uh, each line had the same angle. Now, with perpendicular lines, we're measuring to see if they uh, intersect at a right angle. And so in order to determine if two lines are perpendicular, we simply need the measurement of the angle, all right? And so when we look at something like this guy, we can see that uh, these lines are perpendicular. It's listed uh, that way because that little red box means I have a right angle. And uh, we list uh, um, perpendicular uh, using this little symbol. It's just a little set of perpendicular lines. So I might say that M is perpendicular to L. Okay. Uh, likewise, if I had parallel lines, I would say M is parallel to L. So we'll use that perpendicular symbol to abbreviate this thing at some point here. Okay. Uh, looking at something like this guy, uh, I want to determine if the lines are perpendicular. And so to determine if these lines are perpendicular, I just need to see if they uh, intersect at a right angle. So I'm going to take my uh, tool here, my uh, protractor, and I'm just going to measure this. So let me get that lined up with that center. And so when I line this thing up with the center, and so I'm measuring this thing, and uh, I could use the, the outside angles or the inside angles here. If I measured the outside, uh, if I measured this angle over on this side to see the size of it, it looks like it gets me to about uh, an 88-degree angle. Or if I used the inside measurement, measuring this way, okay, it looks like it gets me to about a 92-degree angle. Um, and so as I look at that, uh, neither of those is a 90-degree angle. And really, when you think about it, uh, if, these, if one of them measures 90 degrees, the other one will automatically measure 90 degrees, okay? And that's the nice thing about perpendicular lines is all four of the angles there should measure 90 degrees. I just have to measure one of them, okay? And if one of them is not 90 degrees, then none of them will be 90 degrees, okay? And so this one, the measurement is uh, 92 degrees or 88 degrees, depending on which way you measure it. So these are not perpendicular lines, okay? So I'm going to say that M and L are not perpendicular, okay? And again, I'm just going to use that little symbol for perpendicular so I don't have to write it out, all right? If I look at the next one, same kind of thing. I want to measure this thing. And so uh, let me drag this guy over here uh, so I can take my uh, measurement. And so right here, I measure this thing, and it looks like um, no matter which way I measure it, I get a 90-degree angle, okay? And I can flip this protractor upside down and measure the, the bottom angles instead. I'd still get 90 degrees for all of them. So these are perpendicular, okay? So I'm going to say these are perpendicular, and a nice easy way to say that is just say M is perpendicular to L, okay? So they are perpendicular, okay? Okay. 